Marcus Smith starting 10 for England. What is going on? Uh, this is being reported in the Telegraph. Of course, your initial thought when you hear that is, um, wow, he must have been really impressive in that 15 seconds against Wales. And you're also thinking, oh, in Farrell at 12, I'm, I'm sure, I'm not sure Smith and Farrell is a, is a particularly good combination. However, have a look. Marcus Smith in line to start at 10 with Owen Farrell on the bench. My goodness me, is it happening? Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down! Had to be done. There we go. That's what this video is just going to dig into um, as we build up to the Six Nations round four this weekend. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already and leave your comments. What do you make of this potential selection? Of course, we have to take it with a pinch of salt because these newspapers have been wrong many times before. They may well be wrong again this time. After all, Owen Farrell is Steve Borthwick's England captain. Uh, he is vastly experienced and an incredible rugby player. So it would, would represent a big call uh, for this to happen. Uh, in that article that The Telegraph have published... Kevin Simfield is quoted and talked about how the coaches watched him have a great game for Harlequins against Exeter at the weekend. He was he was excellent in that match and how he's been training really well for the past six weeks. Um, I think this. I, I don't think that club match last weekend comes into it at all. Um, I don't think that what Marcus Smith is doing in training particularly comes into it at all. If this happens, I think there's just one thing going on here. I mean, if I was goal kicking, because there's a lot of people uh, on the internet, in fact, quite a lot of comments here, and maybe you'll follow it up with more comments saying the same thing, but there's a lot of people that seem to think Owen Farrell is not playing well. I do not buy that whatsoever. Owen Farrell against Wales was really good. His goal kicking was substandard and not where it needs to be for international rugby, and that is a key part of his role in the team. So on that basis... If that is the reason, and I, I think if Owen Farrell is dropped to the bench, that will be the reason. 47% goal kicking is not where it needs to be. And in a tight game when you need to keep the scoreboard ticking over, take your opportunities, 3-6-9-12 against France, try and squeeze them, particularly the type of game that Steve Borthwick is playing, I th I think goal kicking is, is massive and um, applying pressure in, in that way is massive. And if Owen Farrell's not doing that particular job right now, then I, I can understand it. I, I, I'm on board with it. The, the suggestion in the Telegraph article is that England may want to change the way they play to be higher tempo and more attacking. That would be the bit that would surprise me way more than a change of Marcus Smith for Owen Farrell. If Steve Borthwick to, were to suddenly depart from the way that he's been setting up his England team and the way from the, the, and the way that he has coached every team he's ever coached, certainly Leicester Tigers... The evidence is there that Steve Borthwick has a pragmatic uh, setup where he builds all of his foundations in place and then layers things on top. And we saw England's attacking shape starting to come through a little bit against Wales. And uh, there was a blueprint there. There was something to build on. So personally, I don't buy it that it's about, if this change happens, I don't buy it that it's about uh, trying to revolutionise or change massively the way England play. I don't see that happening. Uh, I, th I think it will come down purely to goal kicking. And I'm okay with that, actually. Um, and again, people refer to Marcus Smith's club form, and he was great last weekend. International rugby is a completely different beast, and you do not get the same amount of time. You have much higher quality players. And at international level, Marcus Smith has not yet looked anything like the Marcus Smith that we see for Harlequins. People would point straight away to the fact, well, he he's either had to play with Ben Youngs as his nine and or Owen Farrell outside him. And that particular blend doesn't really work. Yeah, and I think that's a really fair point. And, and if Marcus Smith is given the 10 shirt, let's see what he can do. Um, but the, the evidence that we've seen, mercurial talent, but actually average on an international rugby pitch so far. And that will change over time. But we shouldn't forget, and I'll just go back to it, that there seems to be now... Now Ben Young seems to be kind of third choice and out of the picture for the most part. I think a lot of people seem to have turned their turned their um, angst onto Owen Farrell and made him out as some kind of scapegoat for anything that goes wrong with England. 
England have been doing well under Steve Borthwick. Three games in, we're, we're further on than I thought we would be. The win in Wales was better than um, people give it credit for. And Owen Farrell's performance in that, in terms of pure rugby, was much better than people give it credit for. So uh, he is England's captain. And I think if his goal kicking is sorted, he will be starting for England. This article may be wrong and he may be starting for England anyway. But I just think a little bit of nuance and a little bit of balance is important at this point. But if Steve Borthwick does make this call, then the team will probably probably look like this. With just I would imagine that being the only change. Uh, with Smith in for Farrell uh, completely switching round. Maybe Owen Farrell will get himself 15 seconds uh, off the bench. And uh, Nick, Nick Ezekwe probably in for Courtney Laws. It's a shame that he's out because uh, he would be the automatic choice if Farrell isn't picked to be the England captain. And without... Courtney Laws with his shoulder injury and if Owen Farrell is on the bench then who would be England captain for you? I think probably Alex Genge isn't it? You'd think he, he, I think he's one of the vice captains anyway so Ellis Genge England captain Marcus Smith England 10 there you go Maybe I think that's what a lot of people wanted we will see as soon as the team is announced I'll have my reaction to that as well loads more Six Nations content coming on this channel for all nations and yeah if you haven't already please do hit subscribe and leave your comments what are you thinking could be a very big call i'll see you on the next video